please manage equipment as an admin. Login as Jarvis and click on the login button. Click on the equipment and click on media. Choose files of the new equipment image and click on the upload button. Also, we can select the category for the equipment that we want to. Click on equipment and add a new category which is robot and we can see the new category has been added. On equipment, select the manage or update. Click on the add equipment. Fill in the name, description, serial number, select a category and the image that we have uploaded before and the quantity of the item. We can see the new equipment has been added in the table. Click on the new equipment. We can see the details of the new equipment. Click on the Edit Actions button. Edit the name as DJI Robomaster S1 and click on the Update button. The equip you will get a prompt that said the equipment has been updated. As an admin, we can delete the equipment that has been added. Also, we can delete the category that has been added too. This is user management as an admin part. Click on the user management and click on the users. We can see the user's name right here. We can add new user. Put the name as EMS tester, username as a tester, password and user role. And click on the add user. We will see the prompt set user account has been created and we can see the EMS tester in the table. Next, we will log in by using the account that we have created just now. Next, click on the equipment button. Click on the manage or update. As we can see, this is all the equipments that are available at the project room. Click on edit profile and we can choose file for the image that we want to upload and click on the change button. We can edit the name and the username for the account. We can change the EMS tester to EMS testing and username from tester to testing. Then click on the update button. The account has been updated and we can change the password. And click on the change button. We will get a prompt for login with your new password. As we can see, the notification said welcome to EMS testing and now we will log in as admin again click on the user management and we can see the EMS testing click on the remove button you will receive a prompt that said the user has been deleted also, as an admin, we can see the registered lecturers and the students. To create a lecturer account, 
click the lecturer register button. Next, enter the lecturer name, staff ID, password and confirm password. Click the register button to create an account. After creating an account, the system will tell the user to log in with your staff ID and password. To book the equipment, click the equipment tab on the left. To find the appropriate category of the equipment, select the equipment categories then click search. After that, click the name of the equipment. Click the booking button on the below right, then click then enter quantity, date and time. Finally, click the book button. After booking the equipment, the system will tell the user that the book has been completed and also the name of the equipment and the pending status will be displayed on the booking status. To create a student account, click the student register button. Next, enter the student name and password, select section and supervisor and enter password and confirm password. Click the register button to create an account. After creating an account, the system will tell the user to log in with your student ID and password. After login, the student ID and also the student name will be displayed. To book the equipment, click the equipment tab on the left, select the category and click search. After that, click the name of the equipment. Click the booking button on the below right, then enter quantity, date and time. Finally, click the book button. After booking the equipment, the system will tell the user that the book has been completed and also the name of the equipment and the pending status will be displayed on the booking status. If the admin wants to change the status of book user, admins needs to log in with an admin account. After the admin login an account, the name of the book user and the pending status will be displayed on the booking status. Click manage booking button to change the status. Then click edit. After that, the admin can change the status of the book user. Click update to change the status. After changing the status, the new status of the book user will be displayed on the booking status.